Hello friends. This video lecture is about the business letter and the format of the business letter, which is the part of your unit number two. Unit number two is slightly lengthy regarding the other units. So in this unit, um, you have to prepare about the overall topics, and the topics are uh, very lengthy. But uh, GTU ex in the GTU examination. the unit 2 has as considering the 25% weightage so uh, from the unit number 2 you have to uh, prepare about the overall 3 to 4 questions okay so the business letter how the write your business letter and what are the format of the business letter in this video lecture i discuss about it so let's start it first of all what is the meaning of the business letter okay so you know that the in nowadays uh, overall the business are considering as the digital way all the communication is done through the via internet via email okay so business letter and the format of the business letter is very important in the now technical and we can say the latest model or we can see the latest overall organizations so what is the meaning of the business letter it is the letter written in the formal language whenever you write the business letter it's considering only in the formal languages used when the writing from the one business organization to the another business or for the corresponding between the organization and their customers client or the other external parties business letter can not considering for only to organization and organization but business letter also considering the communication between the organization and the customers organization and the third parties which may be the we can say which may be uh, your uh, which may be your creditors your debtors okay so they are used for the different purpose why the business letter writing by the organization for like placing order making the inquiry of the any product making the credit result request okay then requesting for the claims and adjustment for the apologize for any wrong and simply convey the goodwill for this purpose any organization has been writing the business letter even in the two day there are the very useful because it's produce a permanent record there are the confidential and the formal and the deliveries perceives the well consider message okay so business letter is very important as a your record as your overall good image okay so style of the business letter is depend on the relationship of the parties concern about the parties they have to decide that how the business letter you have to write okay then after here is the one simple format of the business letter whenever you write business letter at the time you have to given the space from the top 1.15 margin from the left side you have to uh, left the 1.1.15 margin from the right side you have to consider for 1.15 margin means for the top bottom right and left side you have to left to 1.5 margin then after you have to write here your name your address your son name then after uh, your uh, phone number your email id date then after left the four lines then after your certified mail ids then after space of the one line given and then after the recipient's name means whomever you have to stain, uh, send your letter here the name of the recipient and the address of the recipient then after space the one line and then you have to given the attendance like you given the salutation like dear sir and dear madam then after given the space of one line then subject then the paragraph and between the paragraph you have to given the one line space and then the summary of the overall your letter 
then your signature then sincerely and the title and whatever you have to enclose you have to considering and given the space of the one line and considering your and overall enclosement okay so here is a simple format of the your letter then after here is the overall information is given to you about the topics which whichever you have to consider in your business letter first of all the letter head means the sender address include the company's logo symbol name address gp id then the telephone number fax number email address website of the company printed at the top and the center or maybe the right side is considering the letter head you can see here here i considering the one image in this you can see that here is the address and the logo of the company okay so address sender's address is usually given in the letter head but it there is a none the sender's name address and contact detail can be typed if you have not the letter head means you have not the types of this this type of pre printed form then you can easily write the sender's name address and the email ids then after second one is the reference include the reference line that identify the file or case number invoice number or there are the internally identify the information in your company's required ones means whenever you write the business letter at that time given the reference number or the invoice number so the customer or maybe other party can easily identify your overall work then some companies have the specific reference code that they can place either the reference line below the date or the very bottom of the letter here i consider the one example that the reference number uh, some companies have considering the reference number so easily identify the order number order date order amount and the sender's uh, overall information then after date date is considering the date then the name and name of the month and the year its letter is including the letter head the type of the date from the two to three lines under the letter head whenever your letter is pre printed form under the letter head at the time you have to left two or three lines and then after you have to type your date then after you can never send never send your letter without any date okay so date is very important now uh, how you write your date so here there are the two method of the writing the date first one is a british method like uh, ordinary numbers like 4th july 2012 and second one is a american method like the cardinal method it's a july 4 2012 so from this two method you can easily write the date then never write the date like this some students like the uh, write the date in this format you cannot write in this manner you can write the date in the letter like this manner because it show the right the careless for the uh, great hurry and whenever you write this type of let date it's create a bad image in the customers and the other parties mind then after fourth one there are the inside address includes the name address firm or the individual whomever you have to write the letter written on the left side beside the margin there are the two space below the date and line whenever you write the inside let inside address at that time you have to write first of all date and then after given the two space uh, two line space and then, then after you have to write the inside address use the courtesy title before you have to receive such receivers like the mr mrs shri shrimati miss messrs doctor professor professor then captain then the messrs then colonel general then major etc you have to write the salutation whenever you write the inside address 
the address can also be with the job title department if you don't know the name like this example is given to you the sales manager and the account department etc you can write if you know about the department of your customer or your client then after subject and the receiver's reference number subject is used so the reader can immediately know about the objective of your letter so use the subject or maybe re means the reference subject is usually comes between the salutation and body part of the letter the receivers can differs example receivers can previously letter the number mentioned under the heading reference then this will this will be enable to the receiver easily take the copy of the own letter from the files and understand the matter in the reply whenever you write the reference number here you can see the one example is here that whenever you write the example and the date of your uh, overall transaction so your receiver can easily take the copy of this type of transaction from his file then after 61 is a salutation it's a compliment or greeting whenever you write the letter between or beside to the left hand margin two space below the inside address and the two line above of your uh, letter body and then after you have to follow the comma or colon semicolon and salutation may be according to the gender type and the number and the social state status of the person here is the example is given to the uh, how to write the salutation dear sir dear madam dear amit das dear mr john dear nancy dear sales manager dear customer dear ladies and gentlemen and respected sir so according to the designation you can write the salutation whenever you write this uh, your letter regarding the higher authorities or maybe the high reputed customer at that time you have to write the respected sir or madam then after seventh is the body of your letter being a two space between the salutation then the contain the message of information to be communicate is the body part is a main uh, part of your letter because in this part you can communicate regarding the letter's objective most important there are the lengthened and the prominent part is to be written in the correct form and applying and impressing style there are the dividing in the three parts your letter is dividing into the three part first first of all introductory paragraph first of all you gave the introduction regarding your letter that uh, why you write this letter for the reference number for this uh, this day's transaction then after middle paragraph you have to given the information or communicate regarding your main objective and in the third is a closing paragraph you give the greeting and you have to uh, expect that order when you write about the order letter then you have to expect order from them then doubt space between the uh, uh, there are the double space between the paragraph whenever you write this paragraph you have to given the space between this paragraphs if the letter is exit from the one para repeat the recipient's name date reference and subject title and the put the page number then continue your letter from the three lines below the heading whenever you write the letter you must you be must aware about it and your letter must be complete in the one page okay because it create a good image and whenever you write your letter in the two page is creating so uh, is creating lengthy of your letter and is time is uh, time consuming of your letter and is create a negative impact of your letter so letter must be completed in the one page then after complimentary close it's written the two space below the last line of your body means first of all introductory paragraph middle paragraph and closing paragraph after the closing paragraph you should given the space and then after you considering the complimentary close it's a polite way to saying the good day or goodbye 
then it's depend on the tone and the degree of the formality formal you here uh, considering that the, there are the two example is given for the complimentary close first of all the formal is the respectfully yours sincerely or your faithfully then informal may be accordingly yours warm regards best wishes okay so whenever you write the formal letter you have to considering your faithfully sin sincerely truly okay an informal letter you can considering the regards best wishes then after the signature and the designation write the double space below the complimentary close and then after the first come your signature then sign your first and last name then in your second line you can type your name first of all you have to sign then after your name then third line you can your business title if you if you have a designation in the business like the as a manager so write to the manager of manager uh, if you is uh, if you are the ceo of the firm then you have to write the ceo okay so the prince uh, though then after the signature acts as your proof then enclose whenever you enclose any document with your letter at the time you have to considering the enclose Uh, this line tells the readers to look in the envelope for more okay and whenever you write in your letter that i enclose this copies uh, accord um, with the letter so the reader can have some idea that in the envelope some other documents are also considering so write the N A E N C E N C L or maybe you can write the enclosure below the signature block here is the example is given to you that enclosure 3 there are the then enclosure of check of the 500 dollars so you can easily find the overall enclosures from the receiver's side then if you don't enclose anything so skip it if you if you can not enclose anything so you cannot write the enclosure if you write the enclosure then you can type that uh, i enclose uh, with this that uh, like catalog okay like check okay so then you have to write the enclose then after reference initials if you uh, if someone else have to be a compose type the letter for you it is a common for them to indicate so with the initials uh, typically we can say that the initials to be upper case and follow the other initials from the lower case here the upper case and lower case there are the typist whenever uh, we can say there are the formal letters is typing from the higher authorities they cannot type the letter the other persons type the letter so at the time this type of reference initials are necessary then after what are the layout of the formal letters first one there are the block form there are the each line in the every parts being with the left margin at least the one line space between the each part is considering this type of layout of the uh, formal letters time saving method and beautifully to look and also known as a american style for the block form style then indician style there are the new paragraph begin uh, begun from the 1.5 cm to the right side of the left margin and this style is also known as a hanging style and this method there are the consumes a lot of time and the looks uh, like some shall be and therefore out the practical out of the practical now there are the indent method then the semi block and the modified block method some parts there are type in the block method and some parts are typed from the indent method so here the three famous style of the business letter so you you can write your formal letter in the block form or in the semi block form it's a written the address date closing signatures and the starts is just from the right of the center of the page and feed may be a very useful for the your business letter and the most widely followed the method for our country especially in the government office is the semi block or make or maybe a modified block form so it's a widely used in in our country is the semi block form okay then after 
Here is the layout of the block style, modified block style and indented slide. First of all, there are the block style. You can see here that the all over details is start from the left margin. Okay, here you can see the overall uh, overall letter is starting from the left side. Okay, uh, from the uh, from we can say the surname, name, address, uh, recipient's name and address. All the details are starting from the left side, and the salutation, signature, all are right from the left side. Then the modified block style, which is uh, mostly used in our country and the government offices. So here you can see the right side, they write the, their name and address. Here the left side, they have to write the recipient's name and address. And the overall details are considering from the left side. Then in the right side, they have to consider only their, their name, addresses, and the salutation, and their overall signature and Finally, closing compliments. Then the indebted form, uh, which is uh, out of uh, out of now trend because this type of method is not used by uh, our country. But you can see here that uh, in there are the mixture of the indebted style and block style is a modified block style. Okay, so you can write your formal letter uh, maybe in the block style or you can write your letter in the modified block style. In the indebted style, you can see that in this style, uh, the recipient's name is right from the uh, right in the left side, and the sender's address is uh, considering from the right side. Then here you can see the starting is considering from the paragraph from the 1.5 margin from the left side, and. Here, the last is considering the salutation is cons uh, last complementary and and the signature is considering from the right side. So you can you can prefer the block style or the modified block style for your formal letter. So thank you so much. This video is about overall layout of the letter and how the salutation write and how the date and the signature complementary you have to write in your letter. In the GTU examination, uh, you have to write about the letter. So you will prepare about it in the next video lecture. I discuss about the types of business letter. Thank you so much.